everybody. Welcome. I'm Carla Rockmore, and I'm here at the most fabulous experiential space. And we're celebrating Kate Spade, New York's latest new book, Celebrate That Occasion. And what better way to celebrate and bring a beautiful occasion than with a bouquet of flowers? We're Absolutely. here with Delilah Dominguez from Stolen Magnolia. Stolen Magnolia. <laughs> Stolen Magnolia is our floral design studio in Brooklyn, and we brought tons of beautiful seasonal blooms for us to play with. Uh, blooms brighten a day like nothing else. I got to tell you, Delilah, this is scaring me a little bit, <laughs> I must say, because I have never made my own bouquet. Where would you start? So I would definitely start with some of the flowers that have like, some of the stems that have thicker blooms, so mm -hmm. that way you can create a nice lovely base that you can build off. Yes. So picking up flowers like delphinium. This or, is a delphinium. Yes, it's it's beautiful blue color, perfect for uh, relaxation, symbolic of like rest, which is a really nice flower to incorporate in your bouquets. Oh, that's so interesting. So you can actually pick flowers based on a mood and put them together. Definitely, yeah. So it's communication without words. Absolutely. That's fabulous. Yeah. Okay, so now what? So I would probably go ahead and grab the Snapdragon and okay. go ahead and build in like this crisscross okay. motion. Okay. It's going to help you to build like a nice lovely base that you can begin to add other flowers to. I see. And is there any kind of color code one must use for flowers? I know that with clothing, it's, you know, everybody has their own thing. I like colors that are analogous, red, orange, yellow, touching each other and mixing together. How about flowers? Honestly, I feel some of the best creations or some of my favorite creations that I've ever made, I didn't choose I didn't stick to any specific color palette. Just kind of run wild, feel whatever you're most drawn to. For instance, like if you want to convey a message of joy and happiness, I would definitely use flowers that are much brighter and vibrant and just so much more full of life and color. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say I, this, what is this, a rose? This gorgeous? <gasps> A Not free me. spirit rose. Okay, so this free spirit rose is speaking to me. Yes. Do I put it in the middle? Yeah. Do I? I would put her a little bit closer to the base. Okay. Yeah. So just bring so lower her down, her down a little yeah. bit for balance. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah. when you're building, you definitely want to play with the different heights, so that way all of your flowers have a time to shine. Oh, now that's interesting. Yeah. It's all about proportions. Yes. Just like getting dressed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, Delilah, mm -hmm. I'm a little embarrassed to say that I have not been one to be able to maintain a bouquet of flowers for more than two days. What am I doing wrong? Ah, so the tip to keeping flowers fresh and long lasting is to consistently change the water in the vase. And the reason why you want to do that is because bacteria will grow inside of the water and the stems will drink that bacteria filled water and they will die faster. So you want to make sure that you always keep the water nice and clean, cool water, and then display your flowers in a cool, nice, dark place away from direct sunlight. A lot of people tend to put their flowers in direct sunlight thinking that it'll help open them up, which it will, but it also causes a lot of bacteria to grow in the water. Well, that's explains a lot <laughs> coming from Dallas and putting them in my windowsill. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. in terms of color, I'm wondering about, because look at this spectacular array behind me. It's so exciting. I always considered yellow daffodils to be something somewhat close to my heart because my mom loved yellow. Yeah. Right. And so does this yellow daffodil signify anything in particular? Yeah, traditionally yellow flowers signify friendship. So if you were going over to a friend's house mm. and wanted to bring them like a nice gift, I would definitely recommend yellow flowers or white flowers for peace, giving them a nice mix to kind of welcome them in their new space. What's your favorite flower? <gasps> That's so hard. Right? There's so many of them. I think lately I've been pretty obsessed with the free spirit roses. They're orange on the outside, but a little pink on the inside, so you get the best of both worlds. And 
the tried and true carnations. They just really the carnations. I mean, it's, it's a classic, <laughs> like a Chanel flat. There I you go. I understand it. I understand it. That is the best way I've ever heard it put. <laughs> I lean a little bit towards the color end of the spectrum, yeah. just like these fantastic earrings. Did you see these fab Those are fabulosities? Gorgeous. I in love Kate's it. Bay, these beauties. So I thought I might match a little bit with the earrings, you know, Ooh, my bouquet. Yeah, definitely. And what is uh, this baby? Anthurium. They're I mean, gorgeous tropical. Look at this. This is art. This is like a sculpture. Yes, this piece throw here. another one in the, there. Does it work with the bottles? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so now would I go higher or lower here? I would put this one a little bit lower. There you go. So you have all the different heights, all your different textures, colors. So this is something that's very like cheerful and relaxing and just something that would go like really lovely in your living room or in your bedroom. I see. Just fantastic. Oh. Just gorgeous. What about the different smells? Do flowers each have a different smell? They do. I find that free spirit roses are very, very fragrant. So if you want to take a whiff of that, you'll actually get a really nice scent. Mm -hmm. um, I know this is going to sound so weird, but they smell very similar to me. And this just, it reminds me of spring every single time. Oh, really? Yes. I love, is it, is it jasmine? Is <gasps> jasmine a flower? Yes. So I have traveled to India many times and the flowers of jasmine, in the parks in India are just breathtaking. They're really gorgeous and it comes usually as a vine so it's in season now actually and we can go ahead and get it and we love to build um, like compote styled arrangements where it kind of like flows out very naturally and gracefully but the scent is incredible you're right yeah, it is a really fabulous. gorgeous scent. It's fabulous. How about a cactus? Is that a flower? It's a plant but they do bloom. They do bloom. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So in terms of celebrating and flowers, what are your are your quickest calls? Like which holiday is the one that you are the busiest in? Ooh, Valentine's Day. Um, everyone wants to express just how much they love that significant other or special person in their life. So just making sure that we convey that message appropriately with like red roses, pinks, whites, mm -hmm. beautiful, interesting textures to really make a great impression. Mm -hmm. And then there's always, I mean, this to me, looks like a very eclectic and very maximalist bouquet. <laughs> but let's say I wanted to go more minimalist and a little more clean. What would you choose to make a more Sophisticated. Okay. Ooh, I'd probably go with the anthuriums on their own. Oh. It's classic, long lasting, very clean. I'll help you wrap those up. So these are long lasting? Yeah. It's a tropical flower, so it tends to live a little bit longer than traditional blooms. Okay. Um, and they're very hardy. So if you touch it, you can feel that it's a lot like thicker. It's fabulous. Yeah. It's it's a sculpture. How do you wrap? Can you show me how to wrap yes. a bouquet? So we always joke around in the shop, we call it your mountain peaks. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have your plastic protective layer on the outside mm -hmm. and then your beautiful tissue paper on the inside. Okay. And we normally just give yourself two mountain peaks in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then lay the flowers down in the center. Oh. So lay those bad boys okay. in there. Okay. Okay. Can we add a little red? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. How do you feel about ranunculus? Whatever you said. Yes. Fantastic. Love it. Perfect. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Throw some of those in there. Okay. And then we're just going to tuck it in. Okay. So wrap around this way. Oh. Come around this way. It's like a sushi roll. <laughs> right? And then I normally cinch it right at the bottom here. Okay. So you have a beautiful display of flowers. This is stunning. And then if you want to tie it off with the black ribbon for a really gorgeous finish. Okay. I mean, Delilah, you zhuzh this up in, in about two and a half seconds, and it <laughs> looks spectacular. This was all you. Oh, sure it was. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the creative maybe the creative endeavor, but yep. not the actual facilitation. Look and at that. And then we'll give it a nice clean cut, making sure that you're always cutting the stems on an angle. That way it's able to drink water 
very quickly. So think of it, more surface area, more water. Ah, that's so interesting. And there she is. And you know what? Look how beautifully she matches. Celebrate that occasion. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine bringing both of these over to, su to some sort of fabulous party? Yeah. You'll be the hit, <laughs> right? Perfect, whether you're celebrating yourself or you're celebrating someone else. Do you have a special like memory of a particular flower that stands out in your mind, like maybe when you were a kid, that was the thing that pushed you into flowers? Magnolia tree. Aww. Yeah, my dad uh, owned a floral, a greenhouse, and in the backyard of the greenhouse was a magnolia tree, and just the thought of like it blooming full bloom, spring, gorgeous, pink, luscious, it always takes me back home. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Mine was a bar mitzvah, and I'll never forget it because the the bar mitzvah boy told everybody to wear white, mm -hmm. and the party was black, and it was black light, and the florists had put fluorescent dyes into wow. the flowers, so the flowers were glowing. <laughs> I thought that was amazing. Yeah, we can really do some incredible things with flowers. I am so excited to have met you and so excited to have learned how to make a beautiful bouquet. Yeah, Thank you definitely. so, so much, Delilah. You have to visit the shop whenever you're in Brooklyn. We have Absolutely. a full flower bar where you can come, pick out all the flowers you like, or our staff could even help you and figure out what flowers you'd like best to celebrate any occasion. Well, that's the perfect segue, <laughs> because you can also come down to 214 Lafayette yes. and celebrate the launch of Celebrate That Occasions with us, as well as build your own bouquet. See you soon. <laughs>